In this video, we are going to be creating a program to calculate digits of pi like this. Say we want 50 digits. And now we can see that this 50 digits of pi, which you can go ahead and verify. So to start off, we are going to create a, a Python folder and we are going to use import math. And we are going to create a function up cotangent which is basically going to use a formula to calculate the arc cotangent. So first we'll need a big number, and after that we'll need the cotangent. This is because that uh, Python can work with large integers, but Python can't really work with uh, floats very well, because for example, if I go ahead and, because if I go ahead and say queen 0.1, plus 0 0.2, then it will give this kind of results. But on the other hand, if we use like large integers like this, then as we can see, it gives the result correctly. So we are going to be using integers. So first up, we are going to create a sum which is equal to zero. And we are also going to pre-calculate the square of the cotangent because we'll have to use it later because of the formula, which basically goes like this. So if I go ahead, so at tangent one over x is equals to one over x plus one over three x cubed, oops, minus, 3x cubed plus 1 over 5x fifth minus so, so, so on. So we are going to calculate 1 over x and we'll go, be multiplying it by the big number. So to start off, we'll have to create a variable hmm, cot, cot, cotangent, cotangent power. by the cot, the cotangent, and we'll make it an integer division. Because, so basically, if we multiply this whole thing by big number, then we'll be finding out this term first. And after that, we'll divide it by x squared, and so on. So after that, we're going to create a term, which is also going to be equal to that. And now, and now, while well, the term is not zero, because when the term is zero, we don't have to calculate it anymore. So we are going to uh, do sum plus equals to term. And cotangent power will divide it by the square of the cotangent. So initially, it will be this big number divided by co the cotangent, and it will become the big number divided by the cube of the cotangent, and so on, because of this formula. So we will divide it by the two, and we will put a minus sign because it will alternate signs as you can. It will alternate signs. So we will put a, and after that, we'll term equal to the cotangent power divided by an index. So we'll have to create an index over here. And so we'll change this index by one to make a new calculation. And then we'll do this. So basically, initially, the sum increases by this, the big number over the cotangent. And then after that, the cotangent power becomes negative big number divided by the cotangent cube. And then after that, we divide, the term will become the cotangent power, no, which will be, which will be the big number, big number divided by cotangent cube. It will be this. 
and simple. So this will be the term, and I'll repeat it until the term is zero, because after the term is zero, we do not have to do any more calculation. And then after that, we'll be returning the sum. Oops. Okay, like this. Now we will need to do the main, and for this, and I just added in this uh, timer, so that you can see like how long it will take. So for the main, we'll go ahead and say digits equals minus one. So while so while digit is smaller than one, digit is equal to in input, and you can input whatever you want, and you can ask whatever you want. So for example. Calculated and I'm going to put a new line and then I'm going to put like this. You can put whatever you tag you want over here. After that, we're going to set the big number. The minimum big number that you need to put is 10 to the power of digits minus 1. But because the, the, the code is a bit inaccurate to the last few digits, so we'll need to add a few digits as a buffer. And after that, we are going to put high estimate will be equal to when you convert it to a string. So we'll, we'll be using a formula. Which basically states that i is equal to 4a10 half plus 4a10 a third. So we are going to be using this formula. Since we use this big number, we'll have to divide it later on. So we do 4 times up code up cotangent because up tangent half is up cotangent two so we just do big number and two yeah. four times up cotangent big number and three like this and after that we'll be dividing it by one one two oh, three four five zero we had and we'll be using integer division because we need integers and now we'll be printing the pi but the problem is that if we just go ahead and do this let's go ahead and run our program and say that we want three digits of pi okay I realize I accidentally put one less zero so say that we want three digits of pi over here and it gives us 314 which is not what we want because we want 3.14 so after we take the first digit of the estimate for pi, which is going to be the three, we are going to add in a dot. And after that, we are going to be add, adding in the remaining letters, which is why we, uh, which is why we put it into a string because we, that way we can easily assess the remaining letters. And if you want, we can go ahead and do this. So if digits equals to one, print three, three, because we don't want to be printing a three point, the decimal. Else, print. So we are going to be printing the expression, which is high estimate zero plus a full stop plus pi estimate one the letters from one onwards or the digits. So now let's try it out. So say that we want three digits and it gives three point one four. And if we want fifty digits again, as we can see, it gives us this string of letters, this string of uh, this number. 
We have come to the end of the video. Before you leave, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.